Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to test the universal DC 10 to 60 volts, 20 ampere pulse width modulation motor speed regulator. We are going to test it by connecting it to a motor to see how the motor responds. And also we were going to test if it really can handle 20 ampere of uh, motor or load. Let's get started with this. This is the module. It has uh, two large heat sink and two smaller uh, with a uh, variable speed controller. It's sold on eBay uh, between $4 or $3.74 or maybe $9 with a case. I will provide you the link so you can go directly and see it if you want to buy it. You see different prices. Made of this one, the path for the current is very wide and that's good because it will protect the PCB and the components that are used here uh, they have wrapped the model and uh, name of the components and see they have wrapped the model of these MOSFETs the same for the other one except uh, except this uh, shot key diode dual shot key diode the model you see starts in MBR and also this voltage regulator they have also wrapped the model of this. MOSFETs that you see here, from this side I can see that they are parallel, that the left pin is connected, the middle pin is connected, and this is perhaps the gate of the MOSFET, so they are in parallel. So these two have been used during our sources in parallel. And then we have here, we have a voltage regulator that provides power for this uh, triple five uh, timer IC which is used as pulse width modulation generator and the speed of or the duty cycle is being controlled using this variable resistor or potentiometer. This is a variable resistor because you do not change it with screwdriver so uh, with this one you change the duty cycle and uh, consequently it will change the speed of motor and then we have here a diode uh, that is part of this pair of diodes here used as a protection of the output stage against the inductive load spikes that comes to protect the circuits. The diode is the MBR2100 uh, CTG that is used and as you can see here the left and right is the anode so 1 and 3 so these are anodes and the middle one is the cathode and this is used on the uh, output stage and uh, as you can see here this is the anode of one diode and that's the cathode cathode is common this is another anode and these two anodes are connected together so two diodes have been used in parallel and each can handle 10 ampere so it will be 20 ampere in total and the cathode is connected in here as you can see these two anodes are connected to the negative here this pen is this negative and the cathode is connected to this, which is the positive pin in here. And also we have a 20 ampere uh, fuse. The labels are very bad here. Uh, you barely you can see them. And here it says power, and here it says motor, plus and minus have been labeled, but you can see them. There is an also an LED that will turn on. The LED also gets power from regulated power, so independent of the input. You can connect uh, around 10 to 60 volts at the input. They labeled it. And then this voltage regulator will regulate it. Uh, perhaps this is LM317. In the component, this seems to be LM317 uh, adjustable voltage regulator. If we assume that, that this will be the chip, middle one is the output, and this is the N, and this is the adjust. So the middle one is the output. For the middle one, th these are the three pins for that chip. And from the left, this is the output. And as you can see, it's 6.8 volts. And the same pin, this way, is connected to the... Uh, triple five, five I see the pin eight. The pin eight of this is also power supply. As you can see here, the pin eight is a VCC for this 
triple five uh, timer and then this will operate with the regulated voltage and also provides biasing for the gate of these two MOSFETs. The input voltage also is limited by this, uh, by the input capacitor, this is for the output and capacitor and this one, both of these are 63 volts. So this can handle the 63 volts. Uh, We're going to test it to see if it uh, really can handle 20 ampere of current pass through this to control a motor. Length of this module is 77 millimeter. The width is 45.7 millimeter. Height of this module is 29.6 millimeter. is 69.4 grams. Let me demonstrate it. Now the input voltage is 12 volts. I've connected it to this motor that can draw around 2 ampere without any extra load on this. And I'm going to connect it next to uh, 10, 15 and 20 ampere load. But for now, let's see how this controls the motor. So now it's at the minimum, it's slowly increasing it. Let's see. You can go this minimum. So if you rotate it clockwise fully, it will stop and slowly you can increase the rotation. Let me do it again slowly. Now I have connected this, uh, these two pins are the input, it's now connected to 10 volts and this output is connected to the load. I'm using electronic load. This is the Rigel DL3130 electronic load that I'm using for this purpose and the two wires from the output of my circuit is connected in here and it shows now 2 volts, uh, 20 volts and 2 ampere. It can be turned on and turned off, it just shows the voltage, now there is no current you can see here this is the output from this module at the moment and when I adjust it the voltage should be steady which is between 9 to 10 volts that's good and now it's a 10 amperes is set here this is the voltage from this device and this is the current uh, let me put it at the maximum. Now 10 ampere is being drawn. Let me change the input voltage to 12 volts. 123 watt motor, better to say. Uh, very stable, absolutely no issue. Let's go higher. I'm going slowly 11 12 13 I'm increasing it here 14 Absolutely, like other component, there is no heat or anything. 15 amp, 16, 17. Now it's drawing 17 ampere. Let's go 18, 19. Let's see if the fuse can handle this 20 amp. 
Now this is 20 ampere. Now it's at the maximum, 20 ampere. Very normal, let's see the diode. Very normal. 240 watt load or motor is connected to this. This Schottky diode is very hot. Let me decrease the current because this will burn if we continue like that. It's very hot. Nineteen. I'm decreasing it here by changing the value in here. Let me go to 15 ampere and leave it. Now this is hot as well. Short key was hot. Let's give it a little time. Now let's test it with higher voltage. I'm going to go 24 volts and see how this behaves and the maximum voltage that based on the seller's data is 63 volts these capacitors are 63 volts so you can go up to 60 volts but this is worrisome this uh, regulator it might not be able to accept above 30 volts so i'm going 24 volts now so we have 24 volts uh, let's go 15 ampere very cool a little warmer this piece the shot key diode is also getting warmer you can handle 15 ampere at 24 volts but for continuous operation this will be very hard let's go down 10 amp now i set it at 10 ampere i've set it for five minutes the timer will beep and I was already two more minutes past, but this is two plus five will be seven minutes. And the time is up. For seven minutes, it's continuously run with 10 ampere. Absolutely fantastic. Now I've set this, the input voltage 30 volts and 10 ampere. Let's go for five minutes and see how it behaves. 12 ampere this looks absolutely fantastic it's just barely warm and by the way this is the room temperature at the moment that I did this test now the input voltage is 36 and I set it to 10 ampere Now uh, for conclusion I could say that this device can handle continuously 10 ampere at 12 volts, 24 and 30 volts that I have tested and any value in between. Uh, 15 ampere it can handle it if you go for a few minutes, let's say up to 5 or 10 minutes. But above that 20 minutes this cannot handle it, only maybe in bursts of 10-15 seconds, other than that this will die unless you do some extra cooling fan or something and I also show the temperature of this room of course if your environment is hotter then maybe you need to cool this down or reduce the current in order to use this continuously thank you for watching if you like this video and learn from it please thumb up and also if you have question or comment post it at the comment section below I try to answer and reply for in order to get updates of my upcoming future videos please make sure to leave the notification on and also subscribe yeah.